so we have Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising in our hands. General Tarot reading, uh, January 20th to 26, 2020. Oh my God, a lot of 20 is here, isn't it? Um, so, um, a few things before I start reading, guys. Now, the first one, obviously, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to the description down below of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. Now, another thing, a lot of you have requested general tarot readings. And um, I will honor that wish, all right? So, what I'm going to do here, it's something that I do seldom a lot. I mean, I fairly seldom, something that I seldom do, all right? And that is reading in string. What I mean is that I will not use spray in any kind. It is just seven cards, one after another, no particular position. It doesn't get any general than that, believe me. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, uh, let me know into the description down below, by the uh, into the comments down below, by the way, and we're gonna work it from there. I mean, I, I'm trying to find a way that you are gonna like the readings, guys, and I'm gonna be happy with it as well. So uh, that being said, let's move to it and um, Let's get on with it, that is. And uh, the first card for you, Sagittarius, we do have the Justice. So, trivial thing about the Justice. Well, Justice, law and order are going to be set into bear, which means that if you're going through a, a suit, a law kind of like interference, you need to know that the truth is going to be revealed or the case is going to be resolved fair. That doesn't mean successful to you, all right? If you are unjust, well, justice is going to be brought to bear. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to reap the whatever you have sown, either bitter or sweet. But the thing with the justice is that the weak is going to demand from you to attend to certain responsibilities. Things that you have hoped that probably you can postpone for a other weeks or uh, forward in time, let's say. Now at the start, you may feel kind of like, oh my God, man, the, the hits is just not stop coming. But uh, if you kind of slow down your pace and you think about it, if you do, how can I say it, a, a careful shuffling of those responsibilities and... Um, yeah, I would say they are responsibilities and you kind of arrange them in a such a way that you move from the smallest to the biggest, you will see that actually it's quite fair, all right? It is, it's, uh, it is what you have needed here in order to kind of maintain and especially restore a balance into your life. Now, whatever situation you are finding yourself at throughout the week, regardless if it is relationship kind of like love or... Um, career, that situation will require your astute discernment there. It is because at the end of the day, it's going to end up you making a decision about something. Now, next one that we do have, it is the fool. And everybody knows that the fool is about a new beginnings, all right? So these responsibilities you are attending to, they are needed to be attended to so you can clear your way for, the new, for a new beginning. And uh, <clears throat> this new beginning doesn't necessarily need to needs to take place throughout the week because the fall it's not exactly a, a new beginning the fall it is between the old the ending and the beginning all right because the uh, the last card of the majors it's um, the world and the first one is the magician the fall is number zero and number zero sits in between two infinities at least mathematically speaking and therefore, it is just before the beginning. So now uh, it is time as you are tackling with all the responsibilities that are waiting for you, you can put your brain into motion here and start dreaming because the fool calls you to kind of give life to every idea you have, especially uh, if it sounds preposterous, right? Because the full card, it kind of tells you that everything which is correlated with um, uh, uh, with the, um, uh, what was the word? Oh my God, it's just jump off my head. Um, civilization, okay? Everything that is related with civilization, it is possible for you here. And the symbol of that is the dog, because the dog 
is an animal of the civilization. There are no wild dogs. I mean, there are, they are a breed in Africa, but they are not even dogs, all right? This is just how you call them, a wild dog. The dog is a domestic animal, civilization animal, all right? So everything needs to be related to a civilization. So you, you, you need to kind of like, yeah, that needs to be possible. That's the thing. It may be insanely difficult, but it needs to be possible for you to achieve. And therefore, the, you can definitely go there. So this, the, such kind of a situation we're talking about, and that is engraved in your head, okay? So it is mandatory throughout the week for you as Sagittarius to start thinking of a new beginning of yours and so that new beginning can take place. Now on a more practical level, the full card kind of relates to uh, carefree behavior, detachments as well of things which are making you feel bad. And uh, how can I say it? Being, um, being like an artist, it's more like a art, uh, life is an art and uh, art is life as well. So being creative, if I may say it that way. And lastly, the four card, it kind of points that maybe some of you are not realizing what kind of potential, while the potential is not the right word here, I would say what kind of a power you can obtain throughout your natural life. And it's kind of like it's time to just wake up and realize that here throughout this week, but not before you fulfill your current responsibilities. Now, next one that we do have for you, Sagittarius, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Uh, there is no more suitable, suitable card here. It just only thing that says it is that those responsibilities are your responsibilities. Don't try to kind of like pass them into someone else to do them for you. They're either gonna mess the job around and they're not gonna do what they are supposed to or what you are supposed to is the more, is the more accurate expression here. And also they are going to twist your path or kind of like the current that you are moving toward. Six of Pentacles, it's a very career friendly card. It does relate to a uh, how can I say it? Creative work uh, it be bears fruits now, or it has a hope to bear fruits. And what we said here with the full, uh, um, have your ideas into high, uh, high pinnacle, high piad piadista, or uh, it's um, monument, right? So, uh, yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, everything that you will have to do throughout the week, it is up to you to do. Of course, you can use help. OK, but only if you need to postpone something, uh, the help should not be meant for someone else to clean up your mess or to tackle with your responsibilities. Uh, one final thing about the Six of uh, the six of Pentacles is that the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear. And that being said, you should not kind of like try to overstep someone, especially, for example, if that is about job and you have to do something, um, something to reach your boss, some sort of a result. That result needs to be reported to the supervisor, supervisor to the CEO and CEO to the owner and so on. So the, the hierarchy he needs to be, uh, uh, how can I say it, honored and uh, fulfilled throughout the week. Everything that goes outside of the hierarchy, it will be doomed to failure, at least according to this card. Now, next one that we do have for you is going to be the Page of Cups. And we do have an individual who is emotionally connect connected to your situation um, and maybe to you as well. But this is not the subject of the reading. That could be your future lover, for example, but that is not going to play this week. OK, the only thing that this card says from now on, it is that this person uh, is emotionally connected to your situation and to your things and to you possibly that it is looking toward and an overview of you both. However, 
just like they just like you they have no clue how to get there which is exactly what the fool is telling to you as well now it's just about the overview and personal assessment it is not about the assessment of how you are going to get there therefore you may uh, how you are going to recognize that person well that is a person who changes positions according to your pleasing okay so if uh, their position is kind of contrary to yours or against yours they will quickly change it and you can pretty much test that by cheering for a, a team that nobody knows you are going to cheer for just see who is going to cheer for it test them in a such a way that that uh, that is going to demand people to take a different position than the position they are taking upon that moment and this is how you are going to recognize this person page of cups once again connected to you and to your situation as well emotionally now the fifth one here is going to be the hierophant card and hierophant is uh, is the father of the six of pentacles actually which is another card about hierarchy here However, with the Hierophant, we do also have a clue that you are going to receive a benevolent support. Now, this is not help. It is support. These are two different things. Now, this benevolent support most likely is going to manifest as a guidance, um, consultations as well, counseling, excuse me, uh, and also kind of like profound conversations of how things need to be resorted, solved, and what follows afterward. Now, in a more practical practical way the hierophant is all about the job and not the money it's all about the trust and not the love okay uh, it's more like a uh, the traditional stuff of how things are developed for example if you hate your job this is not how hierophant takes place uh, if you are at your job just about the money well then that card points that you got to change your job all right because the job needs to be a diagnosis of yours you need to love what you do and the money are gonna come on their own accord. And maybe this is it for you, all right? Maybe you hate your job, uh, but before you leave it, you have to sort out every responsibility you have there. And this is where the narrative comes around. So you, you sort all the responsibilities there, you have the idea for your own business, and you see where this thing is, uh, is going. Nobody can help you there, but someone wants your, uh, your, your success because they're emotionally attached to you and etc, etc. And there it is, the counseling, and you know the deliberations of how you're going to establish your business services and this kind of stuff that is just an, an example of how this general reading can apply to a, a specific situation now in a personal interactions the hierophant is all about trust you need to know that because you can love someone as much as you want if you don't trust them you can't be with them it's as simple as that so uh, it's important that week as well to think of that, you know, do I, do I trust my person of interest? You know, do I trust my boss, for example? Do I trust my husband or a wife? Do I trust my, my, my partner? And uh, if you answer no, well, then it's again a time of change of scenery. You know, it can go both ways with these two cards there, especially as they are active supporters here. It could be a sign for the next level. It could be a sign for a brand new beginning. It is just, just as I said, the four is in between two infinities and what your next infinity or the next chapter of your life is going to be well that depends on your dreams and that's why you need to give an expression to your dreams throughout this week and the last card for you Sagittarius is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So at the end of the day here, we do have a another individual that comes into the picture. Now, Queen of Pentacles serves a purpose about helping you to discover your full potential in one way or another, especially if we're talking about new beginning and uh, new beginnings here. And especially if you kind of doubt that this can happen, this Queen of Pentacles, first, it uh, urges you how important it is to close a chapter properly, to finish your endeavors, to uh, attend to your duties and to kind of um, see them through instead of leaving them unfinished. And then she will help you understand the full potential of your new goal, new relationship, new agenda, promotion, um, um, salary raise, and so on and so forth. So she will open your eyes for the limitless possibilities that are in front of you. 
okay usually these uh, these people that are marked by the queen of pentacles they are very successful in a sense of that they don't need anybody else, else therefore they don't need you as well and it is also a place where the hierarchy is going to come to bear i mean you got to listen to her or to him as well because that is an archetype okay queen of pentacles but you got to listen to this individual because they have achieved a lot throughout their life and they want to help you but not physically because only the physical help is not going to bear fruition throughout the week they want to just open your eyes for the limitless possibilities that life gives and that not just only going to boost your enthusiasm as well but also is going to dapple your environment with so much possibilities of how you can traverse the distance from your dream into the dream coming true but before that it is time to get to work guys do what you have signed for so you can be repaid by the universe because like said at the end of the day everybody gets what they have worked for either bitter or sweet and as i know as hell that you want your fruits to be as sweet the sweetest out there and you have everything to do it it's just you should not slack but attend to your responsibilities so that being said, uh, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading in string once again. It is kind of like an, an experiment, guys. Let me know how you find it down in the comments. And uh, again, if you are interested in a personal reading, uh, you can check the description down below of this video. And there you're going to find a, a link to my website. And until next time. Bye.